enjoy your day with us having fun in the past here at Souter Village. Well, our 1920s Main Street here at Souter Village is a wonderful addition to our walk through time experience that immerses guests in history of Northwest Ohio from the time of Ohio statehood all the way to the Roaring Twenties and the beginning of the modern era. And this is really the capstone project of a 15-year um, master plan that has been unveiled over the period of years with the help of donors and contributors, um, historic artifacts and buildings that were moved here and recreated to bring Northwest Ohio history to life. We have an old-time soda fountain, just like people would remember, with the malts and the milkshakes. We have a candy store selling the old-time candies. We have a theater, like the old Art Deco 1920s theater, showing the silent movies. Um, we have a dry goods and clothing store. So this is the Whitaker Clothing and Dry Goods Store. This is where you would have come for all of your clothing, ready-made clothing, and accessories as well as all the materials necessary to make your clothing. Fire station with a really cool fire truck and a hand pumper. In the early years, the fire departments used to put a plaque on the homes. And if you went out to a fire and it had your plaque on it, you, took, you put that fire out. If you're gonna knock on this door, he opens it. What's the nature of your business? I'm a friend of David's. And we even have a speakeasy behind the candy store for some after hours and special experiences uh, to get a little of the prohibition flavor. The spirits that we carry here are all of the ones that were, this is what we call our whiskey smoke, part of the six distilleries that were, voila, part of the uh, um, ones that had the government uh, medicinal uh, permits to, uh, to make a, a spirit stirring prohibition. I'm going to be so excited because we've been talking about this for a long time and Souter Village was my grandfather Erie Souter's vision and he started with a few log cabins and a museum building full of some of his tools and a historic home and farm that we had here on the property. We'll see you again soon. And this was his retirement project and a gift to the community. And now to see this come up to more of a modern, relatable era that people can really get, continue to get excited about. It makes it more relevant in an ongoing basis. And I'm just pleased and excited to see it really happening.